Hello everyone. My name is Antit Nishad from MATLAB Inquest. And today I'll be explaining the MATLAB modeling of closed control loop DC DC bug converter. Let's start. What is DC DC bug converter? A DC to DC bug converter is a step down DC to DC power converter which steps down voltage or decreases the DC voltage while drawing less average current from its input supply to its output load. A buck converter circuit contains of two semiconductors, a diode and a transistor that is an IGBT and two energy storage elements named inductor and capacitor and a load which is taken here, a resistor. This is the buck converter circuit diagram where in the input is a battery, then a switch that is an IGBT, then a parallel diode, this is the inductor in series, a capacitor in parallel and a resistor low. Before moving to the MATLAB modeling of the buck converter, we need to know first what is duty cycle, second what is the formula and how is the voltage output of buck converter calculated. A duty cycle is the fraction of one period in which the signal remains on. Duty cycle is commonly expressed as a percentage or a ratio. Here D is equal to T on divided by T into 100. T on is the pulse on time, T is the total period of time. Hence 60% duty cycle means D is equal to 0.6 and the signal is on 60% and off 40%. This is the animated representation of how value of duty cycle is directly proportional to brightness of LED. Now let's go to the formula of the DC-DC buck converter. The output voltage is duty cycle times the input voltage. Hence, if input voltage is 100 and duty cycle is 0.7, then output voltage is 70 volts. Now, let's study the types of control loop systems. There are two types of control loop systems. First, open control loop system. Second, closed control loop system. Open loop system is a non-feedback system and a type of continuous control system in which the output has no effect on the control action of the input signal. A closed loop control system is an electronic device that automatically regulates a system to maintain a desired state or set point without human interaction. It uses a feedback system or sensor. Now let's model the open loop first and then control loop systems in MATLAB Sumulik and compare the results and see which system gives better result. Before moving ahead, I want to show you something. For the last 28 days, roughly 7.7% of viewers have subscribed to our channel based on our YouTube statistics. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we request you to subscribe now. Let us jump back to our video. Take a DC voltage source, an IGBT switch, a diode, an inductor, a capacitor, a resistor, a voltage measurement, a scope, a power GUI, and a pulse generator. Make the connection same as the buck converter circuit diagram. Take the value of DC voltage source 100 volts, give pulse width 70% and period 
1 divided by 25,000. Take the value of the inductor 30 e to the power minus 3. Then the value of the capacitor 155 e to the power minus 6. Resistance 1 ohm. Then set the stop time 1 second. And then Run the model and check the results. As you can see that the output voltage is near to 70 voltage as compared to DC input voltage of 100 volts. Now let's see the same model with same parameters in closed control loop buck converter. Before that, let's study about the PID controlling unit used in control loop system. PID controller, also known as proportional integral derivative, is a control loop mechanism employing feedback that is widely used in industrial control systems and a variety of other applications requiring continuously modulated control. A PID controller calculates an error value ET as the difference between a desired set point and a measured process variable PV and applies a correction based on proportional, integral and derivative terms that is PID. Take a sum, a constant, a PID controller A transfer function with initial states A scope And connect something like this Take the transfer function of buck converter and put the values of resistor, capacitor and inductor and make a transfer function. Click the PI controller and then tune the model. Copy the PI controller in the buck converter closed loop model. Take a sum. Then take a constant of 70 volts. Then again take a sum of comparison. and compare it with repeating sequence and produce a pulse given to IGBT. Run the model and check the result where the voltage is coming very close to 70 volts.
Comparing the outputs of closed loop buck converter and open loop buck converter, closed loop converter gives a good output with precise results because of the feedback system used in it. So, this was the MATLAB modeling of DC DC closed loop buck converter. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries, post them in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our future. Happy MATLABing!